the Dart and Exodus 2024. This is what we're going to test today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the subscriptions. And uh, we appreciate it a lot. And we're going to keep on bringing the content. This way we're going to test today is uh, a bow that hits the ball out of the park. Well done, Darton. I'm very impressed with this bow. Thank you for everybody supporting us. Thank you for supporting the brand. Thank you for supporting Pinpoint and everything we do. And uh, thank you for watching. If, if this is your first time, like what you see, subscribe. If not, don't. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you do, and we hope you do, please subscribe. So the Exodus launched probably about a month ago, a month or two ago at the ASA Classic and uh, they really hit the ball out of the park. I must say, what more can you expect from a brilliant brand, uh, a lot of shooters shooting for them now, they're winning competition. This Bose um, won a competition like probably about a week ago, uh, there's a lady, Ella Gibson, she shoots for Great Britain. She, the paint was barely dry on this bow and she won the Kings of Archery, which is uh, always a good sign if you're looking for a new bow. I shot a tournament with this bow. I didn't win this weekend, but I'm shot very well with it in uh, considering the time I had with the bow. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was an awesome experience. I'm very excited about this bow. So let's go over the specs. This is a 37 inch uh, axle to axle. I measured this bow, it was uh, on spec exactly 37 inches. Um, brace sight on this bow is advertised at 7. I measured it at 7 and 1 8. It's basically spot on 1 8 more, 1 8 more. So that's brilliant. I mean, you get the same speed and a little bit more brace sight. Um, the, uh, the draw length adjustment on this will go from 25 and a half to 32. And um, you've got three different mods that you put in. So the mods range from 25 to and a half to 28, and then the next one will from 28 to 30 and a half, and then from 32 uh, or 30 and a half to 32. So um, this is the brand new cam. It's the AX3, and um, the, this the measured draw length on this bow. I did a test on this bow. I put it. I had the chart in front of me, I put it on 30 inches and uh, I put the 65 module shoe in there like you're supposed to do to get the right draw length and I measured it and it was exactly uh, 30 and 1 8. Slightly long but only about that much and uh, uh, you know for you know if it's 1 8 long it's, it's basically dead on spec which is pretty impressive. And it's important when you do speed testing and all that, that you have the right draw length. And um, yeah, because otherwise you get a bow, it's advertised as 325 feet a second like this one is. But then when you put it on 30, it was actually measured at uh, 30 and a half or 31. And then you don't get the speed that they advertised, which you rarely do. It's usually lower, you know, but because um, you get a peep side on it, you get a loop. So you get a bit of, uh, you know, you lose a bit of speed. But with this bow, uh, which we will get to the speed now, was exactly on spec with, uh, with the draw length, which is a good start. That's where you start. Then I shoot, shot it through the chronograph. I didn't shoot it with a 350 grain arrow. I shot it with a 433 grain arrow, but bear with me. Um, I'll do the math now where I realize it's actually over spec. And then uh, it shot 296. Uh, Average 296.6, 297.7, oh, and um, 
with a uh, on 30 inches and it gave me a 84 foot pounds of kinetic energy when you work it out and on according to the spec with a 350 grain arrow 70 pounds and uh 30 inch draw, draw length you will get 82. so this actually got more than the spec which is brilliant and uh so i guess it's advertised as 325 my guess it's actually a closer to 330 which is not important it is on spec or over and that's what we want and uh anything over that is a bonus and uh which i think it is so the you know that's the specs of the bow i don't think i've left anything up oh yeah the weight is 4.9 4 pounds it's significantly lighter than your um tempest and uh you can actually feel when you when you pick it up that's the first thing you feel it's actually lighter it's not super light but it is definitely lighter you know there's a lot more cut out in the riser it's uh you know just the the, the weight saving engineering is that where they they got it so you can position the your weight where you want it that's what uh that's what the pros say <laughs> um why they want uh you know you're not forced to have a certain weight amount of um weight on a bow and for the ladies it's nice you know you can you can uh be able to shoot a target bow without um you know not be being able to lift it up which is uh, always nice um so that's the specs of the bow i think i went over everything uh, you know with the speed and access to axe and all that jazz and um so also your poundage it goes up to 70 that before i move on and uh, i think you can get it from a 40 max to all the way to a 70. Um, this is a 70 pound bow i turned it down to 60 for the competition we shot the weekend to make it legal and uh, there was no issues easy adjustment in the old days there was a bit of an issue with uh, the art into not an issue but a, a bit of a um, schlep when you had to turn it out it used to be quite sticky on the limb pocket to get that initial um, like turn in it it was very tight but they've sorted that out i see they use a different material at a stage they had a lot of grease in there but i, I see they just changed their material and um, that's why it uh, they sorted out that problem okay so that's the specs of the bow i'll go over the general feel of it um the the draw of this bow is uh it's firm but it's uh it's actually very comfortable i love the feel of the bow it's not a it's not as uh you know like the tempest used to you draw it and then it used to taper off at the, at the end it felt actually weird for some people you, get, you got used to it though but this is like firm all the way to the end it's got a little bit of a it's not a bump but it, it gets firmer in the end and then it goes into the let off that gives it that initial speed i believe it gives you forgiveness because the cams roll over quicker as soon as it gets out of the let off and the bow is snappy as soon as you shoot that arrows out of there and um it doesn't waste a lot of time on the bow and i think that's where the forgiveness comes in as well which i'll get to now um yeah the the the, the feel of the you can adjust your um like your let off from 75 to all the way to 65 with spaces you put into the um on the the um, mods like the old system and um then when you shoot the bow the feel of it it's, it's got a little bit of feedback which you want thanks to the geometry of the bow it's not as dead parallel as some bows and um so you actually get a bit of feedback that's where the forgiveness comes in as well the bow you know just as soon as you shoot it jumps a little bit forward because obviously these cams will and these limbs will shoot forward and not uh up and down when uh you shoot the super parallel limb bows um and also when you make a mistake it tells you it is it it feels differently when you shoot sounds slightly different and uh it gives you feedback and you can adjust accordingly to make the um to make changes to your shot to have it consistently all the time if it's very parallel then it's hard to feel the difference um it's also a lot of time more talky so thank goodness you know most boat companies has went back to the to the upright limbs and um you know you you get the benefits of of that and the only price you pay is uh, a little bit more feedback which in my opinion is a good thing the forgiveness of this bow uh, thanks to, to the geometry i shot this weekend with us and it was super forgiving some bows i shot a 720 i mean i still got used to it some bow some shots that i took that i thought was going to be out was actually in 
and uh, it was not. It was a bit of a windy day. I'm super excited about this bow. I mean, if this bow in the right hands, it's going to make a you. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see some good things coming out in 2024. That's my prediction. Aesthetically, they've uh, changed quite a lot. You know, they uh, they have this new look. They've changed the look completely. I mean, like even the uh, veracity at the steps in the riser, they've taken that out. The Tempest had it, all the old gardens had it. Um, they went a completely different uh, route. Even the departure's got a different look. But this is a stunning looking bow. I love this look. I mean, this is uh, the aesthetically, it's like, um, it's brilliant. And the workmanship on this bow is second to none. Um, you know, just the attention to detail is brilliant. And uh, I mean, for the price, which we will get to now, it's like um, 1399, which is in comparison to some hunting bows, actually, which is, uh, is a brilliant price. The departure is even uh, better price. The non shoot through one is 1299. And um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, if you look at the climate of today, um, with things getting more expensive. Buying a bow for less and getting more is, uh, you know, it's like, that's a, a big blessing that yeah, these companies exist. So in short, um, I came to shoot a few groups on 50 outdoors here. Um, I shot on a small target uh, on 50 yards. My target size, I was a bit ambitious, uh, but overall it was a lot of fun. But I can tell you now, this bow is great. And uh, be sure to check it out at your dealer or go to our website. I'll put the link in the description. Check the bow out. Go to Dawson's website if you're not in South Africa. Um, see where you can find a dealer. Check out this bow. Go and shoot it and see for yourself. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.